there's a high chance that you've seen a great deal of these Fortnite 3D thumbnails, especially if you visit Tfue's channel. His channel has been completely overrun with these thumbnails. So I'm going to tell you the secret to that, starting with this video. I have some good news, and this good news is twofold. So the first part of this good news is that the software that you need to make these 3D renderings for these thumbnails is free and it's on Steam. And the second part is that you can actually use another software if you don't like the first software. And that other second software is free as well. So the first one is called Source Filmmaker. And as I said, it's on Steam. So make sure you go online and install Steam from their website. I already have it opened here and I'm just gonna make it full screen. So to install this, all you gotta do is type in Source Sorry, it's Filmmaker. If I can type, that is Filmmaker, and it should pop up right here. 100% free, all of its assets and whatnot. It is an amazing software. See right here, free. So you click it, you install it. After you install it, now you need your renders, your models. And you can find a lot of assets here. You can find models of players, models of weapons, back blings, pickaxes anything you can find on Fortnite. So to actually get these renders, you need to go hover over library and click software. It is a software, it's not a game, so it should be the only one that you have, unless you have other softwares. Now you're gonna go over here and click browse the workshop. Over here, you're gonna have the same search bar, but instead it's going to be confined to Source Filmmaker and whatever models that you can find there. You can also find stuff for Apex Legends and other stuff, like other Marvel stuff, like Hulk was just there. But um, if you type in Fortnite and search it up, look at all these skins. And sometimes the thumbnail for these skins can look bad, but trust me, they look amazing after you put them, you pose them, and then you export them. I really like Luminous. And if you want to import them into Source Filmmaker to use, all you need to do is hover over the model that you want to import and this green box with a plus icon in the center should pop up. All you gotta do is press that. And then get the check mark and it says you're subscribed to this item. So basically you're subscribing to these items and as a reward for that subscription is putting it into your source filmmaker. So I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna add night hair and I'm going to add, let's just type in for demonstration, um, one of the weapons. So let's see, what's one weapon that I haven't added already? Uh, Fortnite SMG. And yeah, let's add the burst SMG. So you see weapons, uh, players, skins, all that stuff. Okay, so after we do that, now we need to actually open it. So go back to, to library and then software and then right click Source Filmmaker over here and click Launch App. And then it should load up. It takes some time to load up. So just don't worry about that. So it's finally loaded up. This is where you can name your project and choose where you want to save it to. So I'm just gonna name it Test, Test. I put Test twice because I know it automatically saves it as Test and I probably didn't change the name the first time. Um, so we're just gonna click create. Now you see it says no map loaded, but first you get prompted with this pop-up a few seconds after you create it. And it shows you all of the skins or whatever models that you imported from Source Filmmaker on Steam's workshop. Hit okay. All right, yes, this is what I wanted to pop up. So it says workshop file conflict. Don't panic because it's simple to fix this. So it says two subscribed workshop items both contain the following file and then it says the file name. I guess that means it has similar names. And then it says all of this. Don't get confused about what it is saying. Just click yes to all and it downloads all the files and you have nothing to worry about. Everything's nice. I wish I knew that earlier. Um, but now I know, now you guys know. Okay, so it says no map loaded. You got to get a map and if you right click you can go all the way down here and click load map now you need white room and i forgot how i acquired white room but when i do refresh my memory i will make a video about it as soon as possible for you guys in the meantime you can just look up someone else's tutorial as we're waiting for this to load make sure you leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far Okay guys, I just got back from my trip to Times Square with the boys because that's how long this was taking to load. So I might as well have gone out and done something productive. Okay, so you see, it's literally a white room. Okay, so we're gonna go into this blank space, right click here, 
and click create animation set for new model now you get this whole big window the easiest way to filter out all this junk is to just type in fortnite in the filter right here let's see if we can find what we just imported if we type in night here should be in here sometimes it might not pop up if you're importing uh skins while the software is open you can do that as well and it will automatically update so just click rescan and it should do that just fine so now click it click open uh click and hold and zoom out and then you got your night here this is one creepy skin i'm not gonna lie i don't know how of epic games decided it was a great idea to put this skin in the game when they know lots of kids and also the the monster from stranger things like uh, Epic Games, what are you doing, man? Come on, there's like a line that you're crossing. Anyway, that is how you import skins from Steam to Source Filmmaker. It is free. And I actually forgot to tell you guys what the second software was. It is Blender. I've looked at tutorials for Blender and I've looked at the final renders and it looks a little too like unrealistic to me. I know that sounds funny because Fortnite is, isn't really realistic, but I mean like in terms it looks like a little too plasticky and shiny based on what i've seen but you guys can still try it out anyway if you guys are not subscribed you're missing the highlight of your life right now expect some new content consistently hopefully coming to you on this channel throughout the rest of the summer so if you don't want to miss it make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications like the video comment leave your feedback share the video with all your friends follow me on twitter follow me on instagram follow me on twitch and i'll see you guys later in the next video Boom.